Hello everybody, Hassan here, engineer, MBA, and investor. And in today's video, I want to talk about Tesla HVAC, the idea of a power as a service, P-A-A-S. I want to talk about this in this video. Now, before we do that, guys, please like this video, smash that like button. It's quick, it's free, it's easy. It really helps this channel, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, guys, what are you waiting for? It's free, it's easy. Hit that notification bell for our videos to get you faster through notifications. Now, before we jump into today's video, I want to give a shout out to this YouTuber who actually gave me a shout out last week on one of my Bitcoin videos. And, and this is Dr. Know It All, Knows It All. Uh, I'll link the YouTube link in the description below. He is very knowledgeable, not just about Tesla, not just about um, specific trends about Tesla, but just in general, like technologies. Like he talks a lot about AI, he talks a lot about all the self, uh, full self-driving uh, aspects to it. And I've been watching his videos in the past uh, months and it's just amazing. I, I really advise any of you who are interested in technology or just in Tesla in general, like follow him. He is very knowledgeable. In this video, he's talking about the whole uh, ad, no ad, PR department, so on. It's actually quite an interesting idea. Uh, I actually watched it. I went back to this intro here just uh, because I've Thing it was, uh, you know, the title is there, so it's easier to know who is doing this video. So if you guys want to subscribe to him, please do so. Really big shout out to him. Uh, he's been helping our channel through that shout out last week about Bitcoin. So thank you very much, sir. Uh, again, he's very knowledgeable, has a lot of experience. So guys, give him a follow, give him a subscription, and watch his videos and like them. You know, you guys know how the YouTube algorithms work uh, for our videos. To grow, for our community to grow, we need to like our videos, we need to subscribe, you guys know the drill, so please guys, let's help each other out, this is the purpose of this community, right, we want to help other creators, we want to help this community to grow, so we can all be winners, right, not just people that create content, but also people that follow, you know, you want to raise awareness, uh, because legacy media, they don't cover some of these technologies, right, so shout out to this channel, shout out to this YouTuber, uh, so let's jump into today's video now, obviously not related to the whole ads thing. If you are interested, watch this video from this YouTuber. Uh, but I wanted to talk about some of the things I wanted to talk about here is Elon Musk recent tweets. So Elon Musk actually tweeted just recently, right? He tweeted, new HVAC firmware coming soon that will make it quieter. He's talking about the whole Tesla car, the latest uh, Plaid model where model s plaid version where basically when you close the car you can only hear the hvac system that's how crazy the engineering of the car is you just cannot hear anything outside the car besides the hvac system and then elon musk went on say said you know what we can we will introduce firmware that will even reduce the hvac noise even further right so it was supposed to be a compliment and he just took it another level, say, you know what, we're going to push something that's going to even reduce that noise, right? And no other cars in the industry does this, right? And actually followed up after on that thread saying, oh man, home HVAC that is super energy efficient, quiet and perfect, the air would be great. We developed this for the car. It can be scaled up for home use, right? And then he went on to say, most people have no idea how good the Tesla air purification system is literally 10x better than any other car, okay? So first of all, guys, couple of notes here. When Elon Musk says 10x, he really means it, right? He said literally 10x. This guy doesn't just throw numbers out there. If he really means literally 10x, it really does mean that they are better 10x than any other vehicle, right? So this is a huge, huge, huge point to be made here. Tesla, we know Tesla is in the energy side of things. We've known for a while that Elon Musk and Tesla have always been interested in the whole HVAC for home usage. So this is what I want to talk about in this video. It's the idea of HVAC, right? What is HVAC, right? And I think a lot of people, when they think about HVAC, they're thinking about their AC system, their heating system, you know, air purifier, and you have like your fan system. Um, but let's go beyond that, guys. Let's go beyond that. Let's think a little bit bigger than that, right? So you guys are thinking about home. That's fine. That's, you know, obviously we can all relate to that. But for someone like me who actually works in this type of industry, HVAC for buildings 
is such an opportunity, guys. B2B, Tesla can really venture into this. And I think, I think, I really do speculate that they will end up taking that route. Now, own home HVAC is definitely in the plan. It sort of fits in the whole perspective of solar roofs, especially with how they deliver solar roof to customers, their power walls, and so on. But think about the institutions, guys, the governments, the buildings, the communities, big, big buildings, big, big communities, right? You have all that HVAC, right, that is inefficient, extremely costly. Some of them are just poorly made, poorly manufactured, and there's so many opportunities there, right? And again, the money is when it comes to B2B, guys. B2B is definitely useful, and especially where we are going in the following decades, the whole IoT, Internet of Things trend. I think Tesla can do something big here. We know they have their auto bidder software. We know that they're into energy, the energy business. But what if they expand on this and go into the whole B2B side of things, right? Partner up with different companies, organizations, institutions, governments, local authorities to really provide HVAC system, whether that AC systems, heating systems, fans, air purifiers, whatever it is, right? Home appliances, right? Think about that, guys. And what I want to also talk about really quickly is the idea, and I threw this out recently, and I think I got a lot of backlash for it. And I'm not saying that we should be stuck on it. It just gives you, uh, it's food for thought, right? Dyson, right? Everyone knows about Dyson. Like, if you are have a home, if you know a little bit about cleaning home, vacuuming, whatever, you know how crazy the brand Dyson is, right? It's like Dyson and then there's everything else, right? I don't even know if there's any other brand that really competes to that level, right? What if Tesla actually acquires a company like Dyson, right? And venture in the whole home appliance, right? And again, I, I, I think the backlash I got is like, well, you know, Tesla is, you know, can, they can just spin off their own product line and, you know, with the brand they have, with the manufacturing abilities, they can really, you know, they don't need to spend uh, billions, which would probably what would cost to acquire a company like Dyson and the brand Dyson. But they don't actually have to start from scratch, guys. And the analogy I want to make, and obviously this is a different beast, I understand that the idea of Apple acquiring Beats. Let me ask you guys this. Do you think the AirPods would have come in existence if Apple didn't buy Beats? And I don't think really we have the answer. I don't think you would have the answer. I'm just asking you this question just to get your uh, mind spinning, right? It's just food for thought, right? Think of what Tesla can do by acquiring a company like Dyson and venturing into the home appliance, right? Not just about vacuuming, not just about cleaning, but air purifiers, right? AC systems. We look at heating systems, right? And even go beyond that, right? And again, there's so many, so many, so many opportunities there. Obviously, we're talking about home appliances, but there's also the B2B side of things. So that's what I want to talk about. I want to open up this discussion here. I think a lot of focus on uh, our is put on, and respectively put on electrical vehicles, the whole robot taxi story from Tesla. And I think those those are significant opportunities for Tesla. And I think it's an extremely important uh, story for Tesla to achieve those uh, milestones. But, but, but there's the whole energy side of things, right? And as much as I appreciate the whole solar roof, power, power walls, and obviously they started, for example, their battery packs that they gave to Australia, to governments there, and obviously the partnership they had with Apple recently. I think those are extremely, um, extremely important stories that really drive their whole PAS brand, right? And that's why we talk about their whole supercharger network, where they can sort of uh, allow non-Tesla vehicles to use those superchargers, right? Look at what Elon Musk tweeted here. Massive increase in supercharger network is underway, right? Tesla needs to venture further with their whole energy brand. Now, obviously, they cannot do everything, but someone has to do it. And if it's not Tesla, I really don't see any other company doing it. And I think they're on the path to do it. I think investors are going to increase awareness about this space, about energy, about power as a service, right? They already have their auto bidder software, like I mentioned. But as they go forward with this, as they mature with their electrical vehicles delivery, their manufacturing plans, they expand on that line. I strongly believe that they will be expanding on their whole PAS brand, which means that more B2B opportunities, more home appliance uh, product lines, potentially perhaps acquisitions that can allow them to venture further, get that talent from 
companies with, like, for example, like Dyson that has talent, that have talent and that have an extremely strong brand, right? They can expand on it and then obviously venture into newer product lines. So that's just food for thought, guys. I just wanted to open up this discussion towards the whole energy side of the business. Hopefully you guys appreciate this video. If you did like this video, if you haven't subscribed guys, please consider doing so. We'll see each other in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and we'll, uh, we'll see each other um, in the next video. Thank you.